Oda, Sue, Wasik, all sound different, but mean the same thing. Water. Here, we take clean water for granted. We just turn on our taps and fresh water flows. But this is not the case for many. Worldwide, an incredible one billion people lack access to clean, clean drinkable water. That's 20% of our global population. Even more staggering is that 24,000 kids under the age of five will die each day due to water-related diseases. Incredibly, the water crisis is not an issue of scarcity, but one of access. For some, there is water, but it's laying hundreds of feet underground and they need a well to reach it. For others, they're surrounded by water, but it is heavily polluted. Sadly, the residents are forced to drink this filthy water, which poses a huge health risk with every drop they drink. Some kids have to walk as far as 10 kilometers to collect and carry water back to their family. This is how they spend each and every day. The water they find is often not even clean, but it'll have to do because it's all there is. If these children had access to a well with clean drinking water, just think of all the time that could be spent instead helping their families earn income or by enabling the children to go to school to get an education. When you think of it that way, having access to clean drinking water is not only a necessity for a healthy life, but it is also the key to helping the poor break the cycle of poverty. This past November, I wanted to try to make a difference myself, so I decided to give up all my Christmas presents and ask that instead they be made donations to build a well in Africa. I then put it out a challenge to others to give up just one of their gifts and donate the money to my project. My goal was to raise $5,000, the amount needed to build a deep water well in an African community. My mom had kept the amount of donations a secret from me, so I could found out as a present on Christmas Day. At 7 a.m., I came out of my bedroom and saw a trail of envelopes that looked like train tracks leading to the family room. One by one, I opened each envelope and added up the donations. Amazingly, by the end of the count, on Christmas morning, I had raised $8,300. Change the world a lot. Thank you. 